Hello and welcome back to Mrs. O'Connor's Virtual Classroom. Today I am excited to talk to you about the 19th century poet Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman is America's poet to the world. He defied uh, poetry convention in America and he fought for good, for unity, for the working class people. He fought for love and understanding and acceptance and he fought for experience and questioning all of it and his big work um was his poetry collection leaves of grass and oh hold on a second i think someone's here hello oh hey mrs o'connor it's walt whitman oh, how cool that walt whitman is here to join us in person for my YouTube video. Yeah, you know, I thought that what you were doing was important, teaching these kids about the power of experience as education. Oh, well, <laughs> I hadn't even brought that up yet, Walt Whitman. Thank you for the segue. So uh, what we're going to focus on with Walt Whitman's poetry is his emphasis on experience as education, on living. So Walt Whitman and I rounded up a few quotes and selections from his poetry in The Leaves of Grass to, you know, get your toes wet uh, with this idea, this idea of experiencing as learning. All right, so the first poetic verse, do you want to go for it or would you like me to? Oh, Mrs. O'Connor, you can take it from here. Thank you. Okay, I'll do it. Um, the first quote is, what is that you express in your eyes? It seems to me more than all the print I have read in my life. Do you, want, do you want to take the next one? Okay, I can take the next one. Re-examine all you've been told at school, or in any book, and your flesh shall be a great poem, and have the richest fluency, not only in its words, but in the silent lines of its lips and face, and between the lashes of your eyes, and in every joint and motion of your body. Whew, that was a powerful one, Mr. Whitman. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. All right, and I'll take the next one. Not I nor anyone else can travel that road for you. You must travel it by yourself. I'll get the next one. Okay. Now I see the secret of making the best person. It is to grow in the open air and to eat and sleep with the earth. Oh. That one gets me. I know it does, Mrs. O'Connor. All right, and the next one. The real war will never get in the books. And the last one, you got it? Yeah. I swear to you, there are divine things more beautiful than words can tell. Truth, absolute truth. You know, I write and I teach, but I teach that you must go out and learn for yourself. Wow. I hope that these kids can learn that too throughout the next few weeks of spending time with your words in this unit. You know, I hope so too, Mrs. O'Connor. Thanks for giving me this platform to speak. Post 